Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to easily skim coat a wall. So, stay tuned. Thank you so much for tuning once again to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews on this channel. The previous owner from this uh, house put shiplap all over this wall and see the, the texture and I did cover up some of the drywall screws and uh, nail holes that was uh, left from the shiplap. What I'm going to do today is show you how to easily cover this up and make it smooth using joint compound. I'll show you all the tools that you need for this project and how easily you can do this. Okay, so let's go. With the new flooring in place, let's put some um, paper drop so that we don't get this floor messed up. So as you can see, this wall is not that big. So when we start mixing up the joint compound, we don't really need that much. Uh, so depending on your project, just gauge it to how much you're gonna mix so you don't waste material. You need a cordless drill or whatever drill that you have, a paint mixer, just like this one, nothing too fancy. Now the joint compound that I'll be using today is this taping light uh, joint compound. Should be easy to, um, to sand after we're done. Pretty much an empty bucket, a little bit of water because while we're mixing this, we're gonna be adding a little bit of water into the joint compound so we can get it into a yogurt-like uh, texture. Gonna need a paint roller. The hair is just like this one. This is a lot easier to use and the joint compound will stick better on this. I have a six inch drywall knife, a 12 inch drywall knife, and a 13 inch Hand. I'm not gonna need a lot of joint compounds, so I'm just gonna go little by little. So this thing is very light. So don't just dump all the water in there. Pour the water little by little. So I think we got the right consistency that we want. Nice and fluffy. Here's a little tip and trick to clean off your mixer. Just uh, slowly pull it out and run it slowly. There you go. Now you don't waste any material. So I'll just dip it right here. At first it's gonna be a little hard to get it on there. So, uh, but after a few rolls, onto the wall this thing will pretty much start sinking into the between the little hairs but go in different directions we're pretty much going to be covering this till we don't see the blue anymore cover that i just advise you do a little section at a time because if you try to do a huge wall um all at once your, your joint compound is pretty much gonna dry up. Go horizontal. If you think that this single hand roller is heavy, you can always attach a, a extension on this, this extension stick. It'll be a lot easier on the wrist. Right now I'm holding a camera in this, so it's a little challenging. Sorry if it's shaky. You're gonna have a little bit of lines going up and down. It's fine if after it dries, you can just easily just scrape that off with your six inch um, drywall knife. So I got this step, little tiny step ladder right here. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This first um, mixture that I, that I made was a little dry, but not too dry so we can still work it. So the technique for this is you're gonna apply a little bit of pressure on one side. Like here, I'm putting a, a little bit of pressure here and then feathering it out on one side. 
Okay, and just go along just like that. Now it's okay if you get some lines. Like you see these tiny little lines, are, it's okay to have that. You can run it on the second coat or you can just sand it or you get, once it dries, we'll take our, our knife and just scrape it off. It doesn't have to be 100% um, perfect on the first pass here. Because this is just our first coat. Now if you do it really well on the first coat, then you don't need a second coat. It all depends on you. Now we have these little tiny spots right here. These, um, those little craters. Um, what we can do, instead of going here, I like to pass horizontally too. Just like this. Now same, same technique, I'm putting a little bit of pressure on the bottom side right here and then lighting it up the pressure on the top so that you have this feathering motion going on. Just like that. For that. The bottom, I kind of just pretty much loaded it up and then just feather it up just like that. Okay, so don't worry about these little lines right here. If you get those on certain areas, no worries on them. We're just gonna pass it and run it when it dries. Sometimes you gotta go in diagonal right there. So I suggest that you run it one more time, um, very lightly on the second run, just so you can fill all the dimples. So after giving it about two days to dry, it's fairly smooth. Um, if you did it um, really well, you don't have to sand it as much. Or if you want, you can, um, there's some little dimples here and there where you can just touch it up, but it looks fairly smooth. I don't know if I can show you real well on the camera, but there's these tiny little um, lines right there where we can just scrape it off actually. For these tiny lines right here, you can just run your knife right here and it sh should smooth out or you can lightly just sand it. Now I didn't do this side of the wall yet because I wanted to show you the difference before and after. But I will do this side with the paint roller as well. For this part, just start from the bottom and then slowly feather up like there. Now when you're doing this, you want to go and ease up on the pressure as you go up, kind of like, and just let it go. So there you have it, smooth as glass, right there. Now just, just feathered it. To the, uh, to the last part I did. Now look at this, it's all dry. Now after everything dries, it should even out. And then we can run it out with sand. We can lightly just sand it right there. Now if you did this um, nice and smooth like this, you shouldn't have to sand as much. Or you can just even take your drywall knife and just kind of pass it off and take off these ridges, those little tiny lines. Just do practice passes with your drywall knife Again, get the feel of the right pressure on certain areas and then whenever you're pulling out like this, just lightly um, uh, take off the pressure off the knife and pull out. And it's all about just practice and practicing your own technique.
Once again, friends, thank you so much for tuning in for this bathroom renovation series. I am dividing this renovation in different videos. So check out my other videos to see the progression. And I will be doing a final um, breakdown, pretty much a time lapse of the finished um, full renovation of this mini guest bathroom. So if you found this video helpful, very easy to do skim coating your wall, really nothing to it. Um, anybody can do it with just patience and practice. Okay, friends. So if you like and found this video helpful, please hit that like subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Thank you so much, friends. I'll see you on the next video.